welcome you to Hardin Northern High School. It is the Kenton Moose Family Center warm up right here on WOSN as we get you ready for that opening weekend of high school football. Hardin Northern will make the trip to St. Wendelin and we're joined by Mike Dennis. Four and six a season ago. Do you feel like last year was a step in the right direction for the Polar I Bears? think last year was a, uh, a really nice uh, step. We, we came out of the gate, you know, got a couple wins. Uh, then we finished up last year with Crestline and uh, yeah, I, I was pleased in what we were, what we accomplished. But at the same time, I thought we, you know, we we did things that we needed to do. But this year, we want to expand on what we did last year, and obviously, want to get better. And hopefully, you know, getting into the new league, uh, the Northwest Central Conference, we can make some noise there. You know, but you know, who knows? Depending on if we can stay away from the injury bug and keep everybody healthy and do everything I think we can do, I think you know it could be a pretty good year for us. How are the numbers for Harden Northern this year? Right now we're at 28, okay. 29. Uh, <laughs> we had a new new player show up today, so that makes us at 29. We were at 30 last year, and a couple injuries and things of that nature, we dropped down to 27. But the numbers are good. You know, I'm pretty pleased with the numbers, and uh, you know, it'd be nice to have 40, 45 <laughs> kids out. But you know, we'll take what we have, and we're happy with the numbers we have. Obviously, it's a process resetting the program, getting it back on its feet. You feel like the, the lower levels are coming along as well. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, this year I'm sort of disappointed with their eighth grade class. You know, I thought numbers wise we could get maybe six, seven kids out, which I was planning on doing. We only have four, but the junior high right now, I think they have around 20 kids. Okay. So I think the numbers are looking pretty good there. Uh, you know, hopefully they stick with it. And I think, you know, it always seems like every year you get a couple kids from junior high that comes up to high school, they drop off. But, mm -hmm. but hopefully they stick with it. And hopefully, you know, from a varsity standpoint, we can get things turned around get some big wins, you know, where we're turning into a winning program that hopefully that breeds excitement and brings kids out and want to play football. No question about it. What, what were some of the things that you really liked about last year that as you started camp this year, you know, that was a foundation for you? Well, we started the year last year with some academic situations. We had some kids that moved in or transferred back into the district, so they had to sit out their five games. Okay. And we had some kids that stepped up with which were freshmen that, you know, that's asking a lot from a freshman yeah. to step up and play varsity competition. Uh, but we've got those kids back and we can build off of it. And like I said, uh, I think this year, hopefully that carries into, you know, where we can use them as leaders. And we have, uh, I have to look back here, we have five, <laughs> five seniors. Uh, these seniors that you'll be talking to later on, they're going to be the core. Hmm. And they're going to have to step up, be leaders. They're going to have to step up and really take charge of how this team's going to operate. But at the same time, uh, we're going to have to ask our juniors to do a lot, too. They played a lot of time, a lot mm -hmm. of ball. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we're asking a lot out of them because they've got to step up. But, you know, who knows? It, you know, the gelling's got to be there. The, the emotion has to be there. The energy, everything has to be there to, for us to be successful. You know, those seniors have been through a lot through this program, not knowing if they have football when they were right, younger. Right. Have you seen them kind of weather those storms? They've probably got some good, uh, some good character build up through that. Well, hopefully it did. Uh, Two years ago, yeah, it was a rough year for him. Okay, and looking back over my shoulder, I think there's only three of them that went through the whole mess, and the other one, he sort of slid in there <laughs> and missed that. But uh, yeah, hopefully that that built some character, understand what you know the b bad times, but hopefully we can turn those things around and make it some good times where they go out on a high note. But uh, you know, it's it's their team. It's not my team. It's not the coach's team. It's their team. So hopefully they they take ownership in it, and hopefully they're they're good leaders that can lead us into you know who knows into the playoffs or whatever. So hopefully it's it's positive. What's the strength of this team right now? Still waiting your first scrimmage with Corey Rawson before you go head to head with you know another team. But as you look at this team two a days, what would you say strength is? Well, I I still think we're trying to figure that out. Okay. Uh, that's like, you know, sometimes, you know, you're supposed to send things into the papers, the media, and that's that's the thing they always ask, what's your strengths? And right now, I, I, I think some of our strengths is, is our leaders. Okay. I think, you know, we look at that where they think they, you know, they can they can pull us through those tough times, but we're still trying to identify ourselves, you know, do we want to really try to pound the ball up inside or do we got some skilled kids that we think we can get the ball out on the edge with? But, you know, I guess that's still, still to be determined through two days and also our scrimmages. But, you know, we might turn around after the second scrimmage depend on if 
we might want to run the ball. <laughs> all of a sudden, we might turn around and be like Air Kent and or Air Ada <laughs> and just throw the heck out of the ball. But we're still going to determine that, and I think it depends on game to game, week to week, you know, what type of decisions we want to make as a staff and what we see other people are doing or what we think we can't do or can do and go from there. Do you enjoy that, that, that coaching aspect of it where you're trying to strategize and make the most out of your guys? Is that kind of you, – you'd like a system or you'd like to stick with it? I – I think you like to try to stick with the system. Okay. You know, we came into this summer thinking that some of the things we wanted to do, you know, we've got West Slaughter back here. I think he had around 1,200 yards rushing last year. And I think we've got some skilled kids that, you know, like Preston Rivley, we've got uh, Nick Bame, Owen Bame, uh, Storm Drum, mm -hmm. uh, Logan Lease. We've got some skilled kids and uh, Will Pullings back as quarterback. Okay. You know, hopefully – we can keep everybody happy, but then again, we're going we're gonna to take what, the, you know, what they're going to give us, yeah. and we want to go from there. But uh, from a standpoint, like I said, we're still trying to determine who we are, and that, that might sound silly, but I think <laughs> you know, we, we need to find out what we can do against other people. And like I said, if, if people are giving us you know, certain things, we mm -hmm. want to take advantage of that. Three non-league games to start at St. Wendelin, home for Fairfield Christian, then home for Horizon Science Academy before you get into league play. Those three weeks gonna help you do that, you think? Really figure out who you are? Yeah, I think so. But I'm gonna correct you on the one. They, oh no! We, we had a, we had a back out. We uh, we're still with St. Wendland. That got changed to uh, uh, the 29th. I think that's on a Saturday. Oh, okay. So it got up changed. There still? Yeah. Okay. Still up there at Falstoria. Second game was uh, with Fairfield Christian, but the third game, Toledo Horizon. Yeah. They dropped their program because okay. the numbers weren't there, and I think they had some maybe some internal issues, but I don't know. Uh, so we're taking, we're going to play Oberlin. Okay. They're going to come down here and we're going to, you know, play them. And hopefully, you know, they're, what I have understand, they're pretty quick. They're pretty athletic. And, uh, but we'll worry about that in game, <laughs> week three. But, yeah, hopefully, you know, the competition we face, uh, that will prepare us for the league. But, you know, the league's, the league's going to be real tough. Mm -hmm. You know, you still got City Lehman. Mm -hmm. uh, they're always going to be there. They're going to be well coached. And uh, you have Fort Laramie that's going to be really, really good. And you have Riverside's there. Uh, USV is going to be good. And I don't mean to knock the other teams, but uh, Waynesfield, they've lost a ton of people. But, you know, listen to the Tyler talk last night. They're, you know, they still want to be up on top, which, and we do too. Sure. And I hope I didn't leave anybody out. But in Ridgemont, you know, it's going to be a tough league. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to come in every week and play at, a, at our full strength. We can't take anybody lightly or it's going to nip us. So we just, you know take each week and hopefully you know we can go into the fourth quarter being somewhat you know in the game and hopefully we get a break here or there and and get a win so but we want to stay competitive every for four quarters uh, and, and that's our bottom line is where we can get in a position that we can we can win some games at the end where maybe you know a turn over here a turn over there so but but hopefully we know we play good sound football and get back to where we want to be you know like the old gl glory days that we used to have here <laughs> Mike Dennis, hoping to improve on that four and six season with the Polar Bears. When we return, Matt Finkel stops by with four of those captains as we're on the Kenton Moose Family Center warm-up here on WSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. We're back at Hard Northern and joined by a couple of seniors. It's Blake Obenauer to my right center, defensive lineman, and Storm Drum on the end, kicker and split end. Blake, we'll start with you. This team is a young team, but you're returning a handful of starters. Is there a sense of consistency in practice so far? Yeah, yeah we're hoping it's having the same guys back. Uh, losing only one senior, that was great because we had everybody last year, basically as this year, but... We're hoping that everybody can connect like we did last year. And I know last year was a stepping stone, but now we're hoping to get that winning season and just build upon that what was last year. Yeah, Storm, what did you take away from last year? Four and six is a very good season, especially after not playing varsity the season before. Yeah. Well, actually, I thought it was a huge step we took. And hopefully this season we can build off of that and go into a winning season, like Blake said. And I, I just think it was a big season. Coach Dennis did an amazing job coaching. And... I'm just glad we have him and all the team back. Blake, how's camp going so far? Uh, camp's going really good. Um, we need to work a little bit harder, I think, because right now we're kind of slagging. I think that two days is kind of kicking into us, but um, right now we're doing good. It's just having everybody on the same page and trying to get everybody 
connected, trying to make sure that we're going to get in the, the season starting off right. Storm, do you think that's the biggest challenge so far, just making sure everyone's on the same page as you get ready for week one? Yeah, definitely, because, I mean, it, game one's a big game. I mean, because it's just like, like the initial like the initial punch we have to set out so all the teams coming up like know like we came to play so yeah week one against at St. Wendelin sounds like it'll be on a Saturday now and Blake playing in the NWCC that's got to be exciting you get a chance to play for a league title in your senior year yeah it's it's really great uh last year I was a little disappointed knowing that um we didn't work in a league just knowing that we were just an independent schedule but knowing now that we my senior year I finally can be a part of the league and then actually the year before Last year, uh, just having that JV schedule, was, I was actually kind of bringing my hopes down, wondering if we're going to have football here. But knowing that we're going to be playing in a league and maybe going for however best we can do in, in this new league, NWCC, it would be great because uh, I didn't know if it would last here at Harden Northern. Great. Yeah, good stuff. Storm, we'll close with you. What are the goals for you personally and this team this season? Well, I think the biggest goal is getting into the playoffs. But, I mean, e even just the winning season is, is what we want. Because we just want to keep building and building off of last season. So we just hopefully hopefully just get to the top. Well, good luck this year, guys. Thanks for letting us come out Thank to you. practice. We need to take a time out here on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. But when we come back, the other two seniors will sit down with me. Third and final down on the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428 at Harden Northern and two more seniors taking a seat with me. It is Preston Ribley to my right, defensive back wide receiver, and Wesley Schlotter on the end, running back D end. Preston, with only four seniors on the team, how have you gone about taking on those leadership roles and, and leading a pretty big junior class? Uh, only there being five seniors on or, the team. Excuse me, yeah, five seniors. Uh, just trying to lead this team you have to be you have to show by example just by practicing as hard as you can every down every minute of two a days every every minute of the camp I mean it's just you got to show what you can do and you got to help out the younger guys to be the leaders when we're gone. Wesley had the offseason in the summer go did the seniors start leading then? So, yeah I'd say somewhat yeah we started then but I think we're starting to show it more now than we did then. Preston, for you, how's camp going so far? It must be nice to get ready for week one and, and just be excited for senior year, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, camp, Dennis, he's, he's making us work. He's, uh, he's pushing us already. He's getting us ready for, this, for, that first game, for that first game. And like Storm said, we have to get ready to punch this year. We have to – that first game is going to be – a good stepping stone for the rest of the season and camp it's it's work for us this year. Wesley have you seen the transition from you know two years ago not having a varsity program then four and six and and now getting ready to take that next step under coach Dennis? Yeah it, it's it's gotten a lot better than it was. I remember my freshman year we played a varsity schedule and that was tough because I had to play quite a bit and it wasn't fun it really wasn't and then now i can going down to jv really helped actually with us young guys and then now that we're seniors i think we're ready you should have plenty of experience mm -hmm. which will which will be good for you preston what's the one area you want to see improved upon most between now and week one uh the most area i want to see improve is just the whole team. I mean, we we're slacking right now a little bit, and we uh, we all just need to get together and really like bond as one team, and we all just need to improve as one group and get to that upper level so we can move forward. We should have some time to do that as we tape this about a couple weeks away from week one. Good luck to you guys this yep. season. Thanks for letting us come out to camp and to practice. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up presented by Kenton Moose Family Center 428. We'd like to thank all of our guests. For Andy Lynch, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.